Hey everybody, it's October 31st, Halloween, hooray. Um, if, you, if you partake in such things, I hope you're having a good day and eating candy more than you would normally eat, probably to like an excess. That's what I try to do anyway. That's <laughs> all. You kind of have to. Yeah. I have candy in my house and it, Dawn has made me realize that it all tastes horrible. <laughs> why are you crushing dreams dawn that's what i want to know i didn't even it just buy doesn't, candy it just I'll doesn't taste it. like it did yeah the candy that you're nostalgic for as an adult never tastes as good as when, it, when you were a kid it's just a thing it's more of the sadness and cheese comment that i oh. can't get past <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah so so chocolate in the u.s uh has some weird stuff added to it that you don't get added to European chocolate. So Europeans really don't like American chocolate at all. And a friend of mine brought his kids Hershey's chocolate um, bars uh, on his last trip to the US. And um, his daughter said it tasted like cheese and sadness. <laughs> they said like what? Cheese? Cheese yeah. and sadness. Because the thing with cheese American chocolate sadness. has natural flavor, which is actually butyric acid, which is like kind of gross <laughs> but yeah cheese and sadness that's what hershey's tastes like to europeans wow also we use a lot of corn syrup instead of sugar and corn syrup is terrible <laughs> so this is me just squashing the dreams squashing the <laughs> dreams right there my, my dreams are everlasting when it comes to candy and sugar. <laughs> i i i am the person that eats those circus peanuts those like oh dense marshmallow orange things yes give them all it's, to me it's true it's, it's true. true so yeah you're gonna have See, to try harder than that don is what i'm saying i just get my friends to send me phaser chocolates every year for christmas and make them last a year they, they send me them in bulk <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a good thing i need friends like that okay let's see um, okay, yeah. So if you haven't added your name to the agenda, please do that if you would like. You don't have to, but I'll make some more spots here. There we go. Um, yeah, this is a chaos community weekly call, as you see right here. So if you are not sure where you are, that's where you are. Whether you wanted to be or not, that's where you ended up. And as we know, all chaos meetings are under the chaos code of conduct. So just keep that in mind um, as we go through the meeting today. And if you would like to interact on the chat, you are welcome to do that. You can raise hand if that makes you comfortable. Um, I, I was in another meeting. I think Don um, had that as a rule, and I actually kind of liked that. So I'm, we might make that a rule. I don't know. I don't know. I liked that though. So I guess we'll think about that. Uh, What's the rule? Of raising hand instead of you know. Speaking. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I don't think it's a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to decorum. Yeah, yeah, yes. I also like don't know if we need to be that formal in this meeting either. You know, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, this right here is gross. So who put who put this in here? Wisconsin. That no. looks like Matt. That, Matt yeah, that's that's Matt. my parents' backyard literally today. Today? Yeah, today. Yeah. Gross. No, thank you. <laughs> but there's yeah. like they, the leaves aren't even off yet, right here. Come on. Yep, that's Wisconsin for you. Yeah, it's too soon. <laughs> Trick or treating in the snow is a thing. <laughs> I guess. Oh, <laughs> I guess so. I know everybody just wears puffer coats. They like have their costumes on underneath, and they just walk around with hats and coats. <laughs> so sad. See, I I tried to tell people in Texas about that and how that is a thing up north as you build your costume to go over a coat. And yeah. nobody here would believe me. And now it's going to be 34 degrees tonight when they're trick or treating. <laughs> uh, and I'm suckers. just laughing at them because they don't know how to dress so <laughs> Katie's ready for it. She's here for it. And no one else is. I love it. <laughs> they never listen, do they, Katie? I own thermals. None of them own thermals. <laughs> yeah. I own thermals also. They're, they're essential when running the snowblower. Sophia has a jacket under her hoodie and she's in the office. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah my, my heat is cranked up as high as it, not as high as it'll go, but it's uncomfortably warm for others, I'm sure, which is, I'm glad I live by myself because 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm the same. I would, I usually have like a little shawl thing, a, a lap blanket thing and my, yeah. Anyway. So a question, is anyone else dressing up pets today? If they're doing Halloween? Yes, my dog is go photos immediately. Our dog is going <laughs> as a pig. Our dog often has gone as a pig before, but he's becoming a better pig because he does actually snort like a pig. It's hilarious. Oh, but my. if you're dressing yours up, Katie, we want to see pictures. I have pictures from them last year when I put them inside of pumpkins and took pictures of them. <laughs> there will be pictures of them dressed up later, though, once I can get their outfits on them. Please, please, as many photos as you would like to put in this channel. We have a channel dedicated to this kind of thing. This is the prime reason that this exists. Okay. So which on. which channel is it? Photo dump. Photo dash dump. Okay, I'll find it. And if anyone is not in that channel and would like to enjoy said photos, please jump in there because there will be some, hopefully. Sean, we're counting on you as well. Yep, they'll handle it. <laughs> it's, it's imperative that you do. Yeah. My dog knows uh, we're talking about him. He just wanted to. Aw. <laughs> Yay. Um, okay, so down to business. Oh gosh, it's already quarter after almost. Um, okay, so this is happening right now. Daylight savings time nonsense. The worst friggin' time of year, twice a year we do this. Uh, for those who haven't seen the ch uh, channel, the general channel chat in Slack, um, this is what's going on. So yeah, it's, you know, this week is weird for those in Europe. Um, next week will be weird for those everywhere else that does not uh, observe daylight savings. So um, we, we did decide last week to keep Chaos Africa meeting, meetings on West Africa time. So I will make the change on the Chaos calendar so that the entire community does not need to make the change on their calendars. It's a little bit easier and it makes more sense to just keep it on, on Africa time. Um, so I'm just actually gonna make a reminder to myself, change this meeting on the okay. And I also need to change the uh, bot that says the meetings in the Slack because that is all just manually done. It's there's not any magic to it. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so essentially, uh, essentially, just check the calendar. Um, this is going to be the single source of truth right here. So if you have copied things to your personal calendar, then they may or may not carry over. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. So yeah, uh, if you are subscribed to the calendar, which you can, whoops, yeah, which you can do here, um, then then it should be fine. But it's when you copy an event over to your personal calendars when it does not carry over. So just check the calendar, and it might take us a little bit to you know sort it all out. But we'll we'll make it. We'll we'll get there. Any questions about that? So apologies for the confusion. I do not make the policies on daylight savings or it would be abolished forever. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Um, holiday chaos schedule. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Do we wanna propose this December 11th to January 8th of taking a break, proposed break? What do we think about that? I think it's that a practice, it makes, to pra Monday. makes practical sense. I mean, I think that uh, that first week is definitely getting into the week where people are gone um, or trying to finish something up before the end of the year at work before they're gone. Matt, were you going to say something? Uh, no, I was the one that put those dates in there. They're just Monday to Monday. That's all. I saw a lot of thumbs ups and no thumbs downs. So... I think that's a unanimous decision. Um, I was the I was the one that dropped that into the agenda. So the, the one thing I would say about the uh, every every year we kind of take that time off, and uh, one of the things that we have to juggle is uh, the planning for ChaosCon. So, uh, so maybe think about what needs to be done on ChaosCon before the break, or happens. Yeah, that's a good good point. 
Um, I, I left space at the end or I put it on here. I don't know if we actually do need it yet, uh -huh. um, but it is down here. I'll just put it as like a reminder. Reminder, there will be a break. December 11th to January 8th. Okay. Thank yeah, you, I would like to talk about some agenda items when we get to that section. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, speaking of chaos con, so anyway, this is set. We're going to just put this on the calendar and I will send that out and communicate that to everybody. Um, okay, so uh, registration is open now for chaos con EU. Speaking of chaos con EU, if you would like to get a ticket here, you here you go. Uh, this it, they are ten dollars it does help us defer some of the costs for the room rentals and the um, catering and things um, we also are taking sponsors for this conference so if you work at a company that does that sort of thing um, there is a sponsorship prospectus which i don't think is linked here on the site but um, we can get that to you if that's something you're interested in and then you would show up down here i think under it is you. linked at the bottom oh yeah Let's see what let's see where that goes. Let's see if I fix that. I don't know, maybe. Oh, it downloaded it to my personal machine. So there we go. You'll have to do the same, apparently. So yeah, that's where that is. Um, and if anybody is looking at this stuff and sees something that looks amiss, please just let me know and I will fix it. Not a problem at all. So yeah, and I think I got the map right this year. I, last year I messed that up. So I think I fixed it slowly but surely, figuring stuff out. Here we go. Um, and I did actually also change this. So now it does go to the right place. So, gosh, yeah, you're welcome. A quick question about yeah. chaos. Are we, are we moving away from kind of a, a CFP model into kind of more? Uh, content on our end that's created? Are, are we going to have calls for proposals or or is it just, is it mostly content that uh, uh, that chaos is kind of providing in a more structured way? So we've, we've moved away from the CFP, but the way we've structured the content is similar to how we did it um, last year, where we picked a couple of topics that were designed to generate discussion. And then a big chunk of it is actually like roundtable discussions where we break into little groups and, and discuss a topic and then report out. So it's it's easier to do that if we decide what those what those topics are going to be. And then we do have a presentation that kicks each of those off. And then we have we have kind of a what is chaos. And then the afternoons will be um, software workshops, one for Grammar Lab and then one for, for Augur. And then I, I think we're going to have like a final keynote after uh, like after the after the software workshops to bring everyone back in one place okay thank you don so right now just to, to that point we do have so if you um, are signing up for tickets you sign up for the main session and then well, these are add-ons should we restructure that to make sure people know to come back because this does not really seem like that's the case mm. maybe think about how you want to present that yeah because i know we want to kind of keep track of how many folks we have at each so do we do we care about that like is there a reason to track that i think so i think well i think patergia was curious about how many folks were be at at that but i think because it is a little bit more intensive i think they wanted to make sure it was a little bit more balanced is that right sean i mean we want to I think last year we know there are a, there's probably half the people who come to the morning that will not go to the workshops in the afternoon. So I think um, let's have, can we just table this? Can we table this yes. to the, the um, ChaosCon meeting? Because there were a couple yeah. of things that we talked about. I think when Matt and Elizabeth weren't there, that we we need to talk more about. Okay, and yes. that would impact how we do the registration. Awesome. Excellent. Good plan. Yeah. Okay. All right, moving quickly along then, um, we do have a news like channel 
for community managers, um, we talked about this in the last week's community call. We have quite a few folks who have this experience and desire to contribute in this way. So we started a channel where we can kind of talk about some of those opportunities and just coordinate with each other. Um, I'm thinking of things like Augur could maybe use some community management help and a few other of the projects that we have on our list. So um, yes, so if you are a community manager, please join us in this Slack channel. It's brand new. We'll be sorting out kind of what we do with it um, as a group. So yeah, we will be in uh, working in concert with the project managers as well. So um, basically, I think I think the way it's going to work is a project will come up and a project manager will say, hey, we, this is a project that we could really use a community manager on because it's a, a little bit larger and we have a lot of people trying to kind of um, contribute. And so um, we need some help here. And I think that that would then come to this group of folks. So that is the reasoning for this. And that group is available to you if you would like to join. Questions on that? Before I move on. Okay, cool. I um, wanted to let everybody know we do have a new cadence for the Augur meetings. Again, check that calendar because um, this is a big difference. They're going to happen every week now, but they will alternate times. Sean, is there anything you want to add to that message about those? Yeah, meetings? only only that we are just trying to accommodate people who live in different time zones and engage the Augur team more directly and stay out of the way of other chaos projects. So just a tripartite of reasons um, that we think will be positive for everyone in the end. And the um, what kind of happens in these meetings, Sean? Just for those who oh, don't know. Too much nerd talk the first time, um, but we've taken some feedback and we're really gonna talk about what metrics and models people want to see implemented in Augur, and also set up opportunities to facilitate newcomers who want to contribute. Um, and, and so in some respects, it will be a metrics and tool focused meeting with less nerdy talk, and then uh, also opportunity to identify newcomers and onboard them for making contributions, recognizing that every newcomer has a different sort of path from where they begin to where they want to go. And we're going to have to um, provide support for that. But in the end, that's how we build community, I think. Awesome. And folks can join Augur on Slack. If you have specific questions or you just want to talk about Augur, that's where you can do that in the meantime, in between those meetings. Uh, anybody have questions for Sean on those? Okay, let's go ahead. See, now we're rolling. Now we're being productive. So yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Um, this is for those who are keeping track of this onboarding course that we're developing for chaos and for open source in general. We are now accepting volunteers um, this way. You can just, if you, if this is something that is of interest to you, you want to be a part of it in whatever capacity that means for you. Uh, this is where you would go to indicate your interest. You can, we have spaces for design and um, uh, recording videos. If you want to narrate something, if you want to edit, here's some topics that if you have a topic that you're interested in, um, that's how you can do that. Writing scripts, all of these things. Um, yeah, Sean, go ahead. Oh, I just, um, I'm going to put a link in the notes that is the link to our Moodle cloud site and people can go create accounts there now. There is not much content there. It's not intended to deliver content yet, but it would help you to develop uh, an idea of the parameters that we have inside that platform. Great, thank you, Sean. Yes, we are up and running technically. We have the infrastructure in place. So once these um, courses are built out, these videos are made, we have a place to drop them. And um, we will be putting together kind of a template so that our videos have a consistent look to them and people know what to expect and they all make sense. So that is also something that we're working on as well. So that's kind of like a project within the project if you want to help work on that. Um, and then some instructions for those who are working on the videos, like how, to, how, to, how we can all do it the same way, how we can do the editing the same way and things like that. So yeah, thanks Sean for getting all that set up and ready to go. That's amazing. The hardest part was figuring out what 
but what bits to turn to allow people to sign in to create an account. <laughs> but you did it. You yeah, beat the technology. I, 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 I love it. Out, yeah. They can't mess with you, Sean. You're tough. Okay. Um, about chaos. Oh, Matt, did you put this in here? We had a carryover yeah. from a few weeks ago and we just kept carrying it because you haven't been here because <laughs> you've been traveling. So I'm glad you put that on here. Where'd it go? There it is. I'll let you speak to that. Uh, well, it is what it is. So it's a, <laughs> we've been asked to kind of have a short, like what is chaos? Like, what do we do? And uh, I just wrote this this morning at 5.30 in the morning. So you can take a look at it yourself. <laughs> So I just kind of put together some stuff and feel free to edit, but just a really short overview of kind of what we do. And there's in the, in the minutes too, there's the editable version. The one that Elizabeth was showing was just the like third one. So here you can edit it here if you'd like. This is great. This will be great at like conferences and stuff to just have that little flyer there. I would love to see yeah, collaborate that, that... somewhere in there because of all the collaboration that we have with like the university working group with the OSPO working sure. group. I don't know how that would fit in, but that's my yeah one thing. No problem. I may end up there was um on that it was like uh define and publish like maybe i could kind of combine those two and three yeah maybe seems legit all right great thanks matt for doing that sure Anybody have any other questions or quick feedback? Oh, so, so this you, just oh, sorry. Go ahead. go ahead. So people do know this came from the chaos board meeting. Also, there was this was kind of one of the mm, things to work on was just kind of simple definitions for chaos, medium range definitions for chaos, and then maybe longer definitions. And this would be the short one. Was, and I don't have it. I think we were the task was to have like it down to a specific number of words, if you recall, like no more, no less. I did not check that out. So I just wrote words. I can go back and see if it matches with what I'm supposed to do. I think and I was just gonna point out, oh, go ahead, Georg. Yeah, I think the word count was for an elevator pitch that we can say when we talk to someone i think this infographic is complementary to that so i don't okay. think it needs to adhere to that same word count good that's one and then sophia did say um maybe we could combine collaborate and share as well too that's another idea okay if you're trying to cut it down, there are some of the language in there seems to also imply to what Dom was mentioning. Because okay. I, I do agree, I like the collaborate as an addition, but I know you also don't want to just like, we could make this 10 pages easily. Yeah, I want to keep it just on this thing. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's go on really quick. Um, renaming the starter project health metric model. This is also me. So the starter project health metric model is a, a great metric model, and it is used by a lot of, I think it's really, um, it's really approachable for a lot of people. And it's honestly one that I point people to all the time when they start thinking about metric models. And um, the title is a lot. So I'm wondering about, about renaming it kind of from, like a branding perspective or something like that, where, and I had just put it out there. One part of this came from, you know, the, the Dora, the Dora work. Like that's like a lot of people bring up Dora um, when I'm talking to them about metrics 
and it's great and like they understand what dora is but it doesn't quite have a name like um you know this it's just kind of they know what dora is i don't even know what it stands for so my thought was um it, i'm sure it stands for something um but my thought was like we have a metric model that is called like chaos one and chaos two and chaos three and it's like metric models one two and three that and this is just a like I'm just, this is like food for thought. So just something that like, we just, we can give to people. <laughs> yeah, Rogue One, Freddy, Air Force One. That was kind of the, that was the thought there to be honest with you. So like, this is, this is one. If you just stay, start right here and then we have another metric model that, and I would look to like Don, Sean, Sophia, that would be like chaos two just for conversation here that is like okay so you've taken a look at these four metrics to kind of get you going what what are maybe four more that you know don when you were at vmware you would have a conversation like okay i'm glad you're getting hold of these four if you wanted to go a little bit deeper maybe this is how we you know do that depth so something along those lines where these were say three are kind of tied together to get people kind of out of the gate and started with metric models. So that was that was my thought. Yeah, I 100% uh, agree that the title is entirely too long because I, I wrote it and I continue to trip over it when I talk to people about it. Um, but so, yeah, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this because the, the idea behind this is that it's a place to start. So you start with these four that apply to most projects. And this is where I don't know that we want a chaos two and three because the way I look at the starter project health metrics models that's where you start and then depending on what you need and what your goals are I think that that second one should be different depending on what you're trying to achieve gotcha so that it could be like a, it's like a, a like a choose, a choose your own adventure a little bit and it's always not going to yeah. be one two three in that order yeah exactly but I do yeah I mean I so I I hate naming things, um, so so we can we can name this whatever whatever we decide. But I do want to I do want to make sure that that element of it being a starter um, comes through in the description, uh, even if it's not in the in the title, because I just want this is just a starting point. That's it. Like you start with these four and then see where you need to go. So I think as long as we keep that thread, I think we can call it something simpler that um, is easier to say. Just a bit of context. I have also had a, a couple of people confuse the point of that metric model, thinking that's those are the metrics you put in place when you start a project. Like that was the context they were seeing it, which I, did not occur to me. So, you know, I was able to clear up that confusion, but that is something that has caused a little bit of confusion, just putting that out there. Yeah, that's a good point. Because those actually aren't great metrics to use when you start a project. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't think any metrics are great when you start a project, really. <laughs> and it takes time of cont contribution for any of the metrics to make any sense. So I, I mean, don't get me wrong, like this is the metric model that I, that I put in front of absolutely everybody. Like this is the one. Um, and it resonates with everybody I talk to. <laughs> and so, I mean, this is like even in the, the university working group. when we get to this point this will be where i start like on metric models like if science starts up again this is where i'd start again so maybe basic basic metric model or something that indicates that this is uh... i think whatever we call it as long as we feature it somewhere other than alphabetical order it's going to be more visible as a place to start than it is right now and I think we can think about this. We don't need to decide right now. Of course, now, yes. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so think about that. Someone come up with a brilliant name and let us know. Okay, well, I'm just going to put in here. Oops. Okay, next week. God, okay, there we go. Yeah, we are running a little bit short on time. And that's my yeah, yeah, I'll just add one thing. I, whether it's like one, two, three, or done, as you had pointed out, like some sort of like 
choose your own adventure thing. I think that kind of pathing would be very helpful to a lot of people as well. Yeah, agreed. Let's just make that come up. All right. Yes, we will continue that. So everybody think about it. Um, we there is a new metric published want to just bring everyone's attention to that conflict resolution and mediation. This was developed in the diversity equity inclusion working group. Thank you to Anita I human who brought this up uh, initially. So here it is. If you want to read through that you can do so. And chaos Africa in Togo. Hello. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Who put this on here would like to talk about it. Uh, that's me. <laughs> yeah, uh, last this weekend that passed, I was in Togo for an Abutsos event, um, and it was nice. I, I don't speak French, so it was a good experience. Because <laughs> like, they primarily speak French there. It's a Francophone country. So I learned a bit of French. <laughs> Um, and then um, we did like a contribution exercise, which was really nice. Um, I think maybe I'll share more insights in the DI working group because it was really nice to see how much language barrier and even experience how much language barrier is, you know, a big thing. Um, and yeah, so we did this contribution exercise where um, some volunteers helped translate the um, survey infographic that we did to French. Go to the second page, it's on the second page. So yeah, so the two people helped do this. So yes, it was a nice experience connecting with them. That is absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, I love the pictures. Love it. I do too. So you posted on uh, Slack as well. There's like a whole, I don't know, six or seven pictures. They're great. Um, I feel like we should put this on our LinkedIn. We should post this on LinkedIn, Ruth. So I'm um, going to go ahead and do yeah, that. You didn't, you didn't do that yet, right? Yeah, I can do it. I'll just do it. Oh, you're going to do it? Awesome. That's even better. That's even better. I love it. Thank you, Ruth, for sharing that. It's really great. Uh, I I'm gonna move on really quickly because we do have to talk about that. Um, yeah, I don't I don't I don't actually want to talk about the challenges survey, but I want people to have a look at it um, because we we analyzed the results from the survey. But I think we need time for the chaos planning, so I would encourage okay. you to have a look at it. The PDF is there, and then you can link with more details around the repo. So can we um, discuss it next week? Is that okay? Sure. I'm I'm not gonna be here, but you can talk about it next week. Okay, we'll talk about it behind your back then. Yeah. Please. <laughs> okay awesome all right thanks everybody i'm so sorry that you know i had a slow start here i didn't realize how big that agenda was gonna be so yeah this is great awesome job everybody i'm gonna stop sharing uh, we are gonna shut the meeting down a little early so those who are working on um those who are working on chaos con if you want to stick around for the last 10 minutes that would be great others can feel free to get that time back today and have a good rest of your day. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Do you, Elizabeth, have the agenda that you can share?